Hello, neighbor Al here. I have a new tool. <clears throat> I needed a barn scale that had fairly good range, 50 pounds or so, um, and down to one pound, and would be robust. It would last. I really didn't want something with batteries, and I didn't want something that I was afraid would get wet. And I found this. Uh, my buddy Coop up in Nova Scotia has one in his barn. I saw that and I went, that's what I need. And then I went to the marketplace for all mankind, eBay, and I picked myself one up. This is a steel yard scale. It is extremely old design. This one is probably, you know, early 1900s manufacture. They still use them, make them today. Tradesmen in Asia and the like still use them. Um, they work great. It's a, it's a, it's the simple physics of a lever and the mechanical advantage. This is a this one does zero to ten pounds, which is the scale I'm on now. And you'll see this is the fulcrum up here. I'll try and focus on that a little bit. And I think I got the right word fulcrum. And this would be the downhole. And you see the downhole's got this really long open yoke on it. And I have a one kilogram calibration weight inside the bag, because I'm that kind of geek, I have a one kilogram calibration weight. But if I wanted to measure, say, 50 pounds, I'd flip it over. But first what I want to show you is there's a sliding scale across the top. And you can see I'm just beyond 2 pounds. We know the calibration weight's roughly 2.2 pounds. Coming across less than a half, a little bit of beyond. And I'm still getting used to it. I'm not quite touching the stop pin. So maybe I am touching the stop pin and I need to back off a little bit. So either way though, it has relatively good accuracy. Uh, lacking a little bit in precision, in this case, half pound units is reasonable. Uh, what they tell you, you can always read between the lines so I can go quarter pound. Okay, so no big deal. Now if I want to read 50 pounds on this, what we do is we change the fulcrum point back to the here. So I'm going to one hand this. I should never try this. So I'm going to one hand it. Taking the calibration weight off. And I'm going to flip it over. Now I flip it over. What I mean is I'm going to do this. There. Now I have another hook to go on the top. And you can see there's the the back hook now goes on the top. This one goes a new the, the drop hook, the, the weight hook is on the other side now. I need a little bit of stability here, so I'm going to put the calibration weight back on. I'm on the 50 pound scale now. The smallest unit of measure on here on the 50 pound scale is like wow, um, 15 pounds and it's already you know it's, it's not working for me very well I'm gonna go back I can't really zero it but you know what I'm okay with that I'm gonna find something to check it with eh, anyway I'm fighting it I don't want to blow this but these are really neat and I got it on eBay and I think I paid like 20 bucks for it so you'll see some on eBay that are outrageously expensive ignore those people you know, you don't need pretty, you need functional. Make sure you get the weight that goes with it. That's super important. Um, there are some out there that don't have the weight. Well, they're useless without the weight. Anyway, that's my uh, steel yard scale. Still made, still used in the world. I guess they're aluminum now. But um, easily found on eBay. Um, they may not call it a steel yard scale, but that's one of the more formal names. And there you have it. Take care. Bye.